All right, third time's the charm, I hope. Um, welcome to those of you just tuning in. Uh, sorry for the bumpy start here. I think we have the problem of being in an apartment building on a day election results came out and all of the bandwidth is being devoured. But hopefully this will work this time. And uh, I've got us plugged in and doing all the, all the things I can from our end here. Um, once more, uh, we've got Jonathan Stout. Uh, you talk a little trash happening for our choreography and Artie Shaw's When the Quail Come Back to San Quentin for our warm up. Uh, we're going to get started on that warm up here in just a moment. I'm going to see if I can get over and load the chat window up so I can see who all made it to our third attempt at going online here. Um, but uh, thank you for bouncing around with me. And as always, I'm sure you'll find this is a recording because we keep all of them up here. Um, cool. All right. I have a chat. I have a video. We're going to do this thing. It's going to be great. So here is our warm up in getting my other computer set up for sound. <laughs> the All right, here we go. We have music. All right. Find yourself space to dance. Let's shake that off. <laughs> So let's check in with chat here, see how you all are doing. Um, we've made it all the way here to a video that's online. Aren't you proud of us? Um, yeah, it was Artie Shaw's When the Quail Come Back to San Quentin. And we'll be dancing in a moment to Jonathan Stout's version of 
uh, you talk a little trash. Um, so let's listen a little bit to that tune here. Due to the computer switch, it'll be just a second. There we go. Um, we usually dance to the first section of a song because that's the easiest place to do a one chorus Saturday morning choreography to. Um, unfortunately, that's often, like in this case, where the band is just playing the head or the, the melody part of the song that's familiar to everybody before they go off and do their own thing. Um, so we're missing out on a couple parts of, of your typical jam style band, uh, like modern swing dance band structure in particular, which is they start with the same thing, then they all take their solos, and then after getting maybe they do a shot chorus, or do some sort of building everything to the finish, or a soothing and relaxing denouement, or something. Um, and we're always getting the beginning of the songs. And I'll try and vary that up some, but some of it is what we get. Uh, and some of it's nice because it helps folks that don't know the tunes that are like standards, to help them kind of figure those out. So we'll keep doing, uh, doing that some of the time, but be aware that you should totally go check out the rest of these songs too, because you're not getting a lot of the artistry that the, the musicians put into this, um, just because I'm always playing that first little introduction to the tune. So the, the melody in this tune we're talking about is that ba-da-da-da, ba-da-da-da, ba-ba-da-bam, ba-da-da-da-da-da. -da. Um, so we're gonna do uh, that first little bit, is gonna be pretty melodic. We're gonna kind of just match exactly what Jonathan's given us. Um, and a real shame on this one is Albert Alva is the sax player for this band. And he does crazy cool things whenever he has the spotlight. But when you don't have him have the spotlight, it's just like, you know, the chorus part. But that's fine. Um, so we're starting off. We got a long intro going on here. We got four eighths of intro. During that time, we're going to let your right foot kind of sweep around while you bounce. You get lots of time. It probably wouldn't start to the last eight before this because there's so much time. We're just going to kind of let that out of time get set up. So we're making a big circle here with our right leg and digging our toe into the ground with some pressure. So I'm not just resting it here. I'm actually putting some pressure on it because we're going to use that dropping our heel to bring us around. So dig those toes into the ground and then try and make it so when you bring your heel to the floor on that foot, it pulls your hip with it and you're able to get a little bit of a spin out of this. We're gonna transfer all the weight to that right foot as we do that. So your right foot comes around, we dig in and it drops. We've got two beats to get around. So it's not a really fast turn, you've got a couple of seconds, but not, not much. So that goes, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And on two, we're gonna be on that right foot with our left foot ready to go. So let's dig this in around seven for now. But I'm, you could dig it in eight counts early and just be chilling here pulsing, I don't mind that. But what we wanna hit is that count one, dropping the heel and facing the front. Uh, then we're gonna do kind of basic jazz stuff. So really focus on your uh, technique here. Try and think about keeping your pulse uh, smooth and regular, match what the song makes you want to do. Um, so we're going to take that left foot that's in the air and do a rock step at a slight diagonal probably. We're going to let that foot swing forward for a small kick and then we're going to step onto it across our body. So we have three, four, five, six is a rock step, kick step. So that was the toe down on the ground. It went one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's do that much together. <laughs> 
five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there can be some crossbody on this. So I'm doing it without a book in my hand. <laughs> it might look more like rock, step, kick, step. So I'm bringing my upper body around. It's not just my arm flailing here. I'm using my shoulders to move that arm in opposition to my step. So rock, step, kick, step. Um, so let's try that one more time. You're digging your toe into the ground. You drop your heel on one. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. I'm going to come check. All right, I see no stressed comments, so let me know if you do have questions, and I'll be happy to help you out. Otherwise, I'll keep on trucking. All right, um, so we just did rock step, kick step. We're going to do another one. Rock step, kick step, rock step on seven eight. So we're going to reverse this and then go into something else. So rock step, kick, cross, rock step, kick, cross. Um, let's go from the one. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. That two, I'm actually going to go a little bit um, toes in here so that uh, my right foot's in front and I'm ready to do an open with my left knee with a little extra drama. So we're going to do some Susie Q's here and step onto that left foot. So my right foot's in front, my left foot's in back. I'm on the heel of my right foot, but my toes are still on the floor. I'm not popping them up. And my left foot is behind. I'm on the ball of the foot. Uh, after that, kick, cross. We go open at the left, close, open, close. So, so far, from the top, let's do it together if you want, or you can just watch if you need to. It goes five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three. Cool. One more time. I'm going to check in with you here. One second. Making sure we're okay. All right. So, uh, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, da, da, ba, ta, two, two. Ah, da, do, da, do. We're gonna take one more step in front with your right foot. So we're finishing that with on the right foot, and we're gonna do a triple step. Cool. All right, let's get that one shot. Um, out with the triple step, so it went from here. One, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Triple step. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, rock, step, kick, cross, rock, step, kick, cross, open, close, open, close, triple step. From here, we're going to use that momentum we got from the triple step going from that front left corner. A little small kick happen. I want to hold my core back. I don't want to get over this because I don't want to accidentally travel. But I'm just going to go kick, step, and that's pretty quick. So just a little boop, step underneath you. Um, when I say underneath you, I mean that line under your right butt cheek should be right above the ankle of your right foot when you do that step. So this isn't the big hua ha like we often do in here. It's just underneath you. So we finish our triple step, kick, down. My weight's fully on that right foot immediately because I need to throw my left foot out here and make a line, pull it in, and put it back out again. So we're going out, in, out. So practice that like, on both sides a little bit. Just get used to what that feels like because we're going to do both sides on this as we do. Make sure you know where your weight is. We're just doing touches with that foot. We're not actually changing weight onto it or anything because it's pretty quick. Um, so that looks like this when you put it in the context. It goes kick. Step out, in, out, and then I'm gonna act like it's the hardest thing in the world to drag my foot across the floor. I'm actually gonna get pressure on the floor to make this happen. So I'm pushing down and giving resistance and drawing my foot in. Um, I'm doing a combination of pulling with my inner thighs and a little bit of rising from my standing leg. So I'm not just going, and I'm also not just going, I'm combining that up just a little bit 
at the same time as I'm pulling with that inner thigh. And the goal with any time you're doing a delayed move like this, where you're trying to build some suspense, um, you can take lessons from Nevada this week in, in the election and just not quite get there, right? So I don't want to go, uh-huh, and then have time to burn, because then my audience gets bored. I want to go and never quite, never quite get to that closing point. So there's this anticipation uh, for, for the audience as they're watching this thing. So we've got kick, step, out, in, out. Um, and let's do that from the top really slowly so we can see where it fits in all together. So your toes back here. So you go five, six, seven, eight, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, the more you go low on that standing leg on that, that sweep there, uh, the yummier it's going to be for you. Um, so if you've got the flexibility and you're warmed up enough to save your knees and not have damage happen, you can get really low on that, and that gives you a lot more distance to cover as you draw that leg in. But take care of yourself. Dance where you're at. Right now, I'm not particularly warmed up, so we're staying a little bit tall, but... You do you if you're like a former contortionist or current contortionist or whatever your thing is. Um, so one more time from the top, think that toe in. We go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. I'm um, assuming that's perfect, so we're going to plow on for the last eight count of the first phrase. Um, we just went five, six, seven, go ahead and step down on eight. Um, if I were teaching this in a team routine, I would pick count seven or eight to step on to because we want people to be doing the weight changes at the same time probably. Uh, but because we're doing this individually, as you listen to the music, I can hear in that an eight or a seven where I would want to change that weight. If you've got the brain space, listen for it and see if you like one better than what we're doing. But for now, let's go for eight if you don't know. So five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to step onto that left foot. We're going to lunge forward like we did in the warm-up and pick up that back leg. So I'm kind of making this shape. Whee! Um, one, two. As I do that, I'm rotating my upper body a little bit to the right more than my hips. So I get a little bit of a wind-up, and that's going to prep me for a nice lazy turn. One, two, three, as I bring my body back to my hips, brings me around that corner. One, two, three, five, seven. And we're going to take the opposite sweep that we had at the beginning. So we went one, two, three, five. I'm going to let my left toe come and dig in over here so we can start the whole thing backward. So let's get through just that break real quick. We go five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, seven. So my hips are staying forward. I'm letting that leg sweep around behind. And cool. Well, it seems like the stream is working, but the comments are not. So I'm sorry if I don't get back to any questions that you may have typed. Uh, feel free to try it. And if I notice them after the fact, I will go through and uh, message you um, and make sure that we are all on the same. Same dealer here. Cool. Looks like it also might be. Oh, now we're good. Okay. Let's try this one more time from the top, and then we'll try the left side, or the opposite second side. So we're taking that right foot behind, put the toe down. We go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we drop that left heel on one and bring us around. So the opposite of what we did on the first time. So try that a couple times on your own. Get that left foot hook behind here and push that heel into the floor. Pick up your right foot and see if you can get that to bring you around. Don't forget that your shoulders need to be doing the turning if you just do the feet you won't make it all the way. So I need to be thinking about my shoulders getting around to face my audience. Another way to think about that is to make your chest as wide as possible so you have more power, right? If you have a dinky little steering wheel and no power steering, you're going to have a really hard time turning that, but if you got the bus steering wheel, it's possible. So give yourself wide shoulders 
as I do that, bring them around, and you should have the ability to get more momentum than you want, and then choose to control it. Um, so let's do this again. Um, we're gonna go. All right, cool. It looks like you all can see the comments, but I can't. So at least you can talk to each other. So uh, if you know what's going on and someone has a question, feel free to try and answer them in the comments there. Sorry for the disconnect for me. I will troubleshoot this week on that. Um, but the left side, we just went. Left foot behind, I dropped the heel. I'm gonna do the rock step with my right foot and then kick across. Again, we can go cross body with our arms and then we can do the same thing on the other side, rock step, kick across. And then the Susie cues, with my right leg's opening, I'm gonna end on my left leg in front and do a triple step toward the right corner. So let's walk through that much again. Our left foot is hooked behind. We go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we're back on the first side, we finish that triple step, and then we had our kick step. We're doing the same thing over here, so we finish our triple step. Kick step. Now we're gonna go, as promised, the right leg goes out, in, out, and gather. So we're doing exactly the same thing, just mirrored. So let's go back to that left foot hook behind for the second side here. We go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, we're changing that weight at the end of that onto the right foot. So now we can do the other side of our turn here. So we go up and let my upper body rotate a little bit counterclockwise this time to bring me around back for this bit. Um, and we're going to change the very ending of that break, but the first part's the same. We're just going up and step. Step, and then we change it to go to the next thing. Um, so let's go just the second side again one more time before we put it all together. Left foot's hooked here. We drop that heel on one. We go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five. Awesome. Cool. I have, uh, for the record, I have a Facebook thread open with someone who's on the chat. So if you do have questions, you can type them up there. And then they will send them to me on Facebook. So it will work, but it's just a little bit longer delay than normal. So thanks, uh, Team Tacoma, there for covering for me. Um, let's go back to the very beginning. So we're going to do the whole thing the first way again. We're imagining that this leg is drifting around. And I've got that right toe tucked behind my left leg. And we go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kick, step, out, in, out, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five. All right. Once more, I'm going to pick up the tempo just a little bit because we're way slower than the song right now. Um, but don't worry if it's not perfect. As always, I'm going to put this up on the uh, the channel. If you do have questions and I can't get to them during the lesson because of technical things. Um, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook afterward, or just try in the comments on this, and I will get back to those questions as soon as I can. Uh, from the top, a little bit quicker. Right foot comes around. We go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five. Cool. 
The next part we're gonna do is real easy. We walk twice. So just um, find a place that you need to be in the room to center yourself. So these are two sort of forgiveness steps. Whatever happened, wherever you got off your, your center, um, this is my spot that I'm trying to be for best stage use um, after going this way and this way. Um, after that last turn, when I've gone one, two, three, five, seven, eight, I can use those steps as a rock step or as a run, run in place if I'm already there or as a get forward again. Um, so you can move wherever you need to using two steps on seven, eight. Uh, the trick is we just want to be going left, right, left, right, left, so that my right foot's ready to go next. So what's important is the weight changes on that part more than the shape. Those are those are recovery steps. If you want to style those somehow, um, while well, well, you can take uh, steps behind on yourself, you can um, moonwalk them, you can sweep them, however you want to do it. But the important part is that you get where you need to go, which is centered, and you uh, do it in rhythm. Next thing we're gonna do is some triple steps, which we've done a million times, but we're gonna make them spicier. So get a little bit low, just in your nice, chilling out, everything's good. Like, you've got that fun playlist going while you're cooking dinner, and you're like, yeah, the groove. That's where we're gonna be for these triple steps. I gotta make sure I have that bounce, because they're gonna have a weird shape to them too. So first find that, and then practice switching your weight every other beat. You go step, bounce, 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 bounce. When that's feeling really good, you can change nothing about how your upper body is moving and add that triple step into it. And we're gonna combine that with a little bit of that 20s Charleston foot thing. So if you're here on my Wednesday night classes, you got a, a prelude to this before, but we're gonna go in with the heels and out with the heels, in with the heels and out with the heels. Um, I recommend focusing on the ends when you relax after going in with your heels, it kind of lets your feet move out naturally. So you can focus later on making those more dramatic, but for now, focus on going in, and, in, and, in, and, in, and, in, and. There's still that bounce, 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 bounce. And those ins are gonna happen when we do the walking version on the part where we actually change weight. So we're gonna go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Practice with me a bunch. Give yourself a lot of reps. Do that. In, 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 in. And see if you can keep that bounce going. Down, 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 down. All right, we're gonna make that into the triple step. The last bit of technique we need to add is that I'm a little bit forward on my standing foot, so my heel's a little bit more off the ground than it might normally be. I'm not doing that by going up. I'm doing that by bringing my knees forward. What that does is it's like opening a garage door on the back of my foot here, so my other foot can fit underneath it. If my feet are on the floor, I'll kick myself or have to move inefficiently around behind. So I'm pulling my knees a little bit forward. It's like that ow moment from Michael Jackson. Um, you're, so you get that heel comes off the floor, the toes of your other foot can cross underneath. So try that a couple times, just move your foot under your other foot. Shoot, bada, shoot, bada, shoot, bada, shoot, bada, bounce and bounce, bounce, da da, shoot, ga da. And then when we put it all together, we're going to do those ins on the first step of the triple step while doing the knee garage door thing while also keeping the pulse. And it'll be perfect. And we're gonna start with the right foot going into the left one, and the heels come in at that point. So we go five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, 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 triple step. Cool, I'm gonna check on my game of telephone here and see if any questions. Cool, I don't see anything yet. Um, so let's try that about four million more times. The right foot goes under first. So your left garage door is open here. Then we go five, six, seven, and triple step, 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 triple step. Cool. Uh, let's do that. In contact, anything funky with it. We're just doing four of those in a row. 
And that's the eight counts. So there's no interspersed other weirdness. You can really focus on that. Uh, a couple arm options for you. You can swim. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do the little slow choo-choo train as you do cross body here. Um, but whatever comes naturally in your flow is probably a good place to start. And you just want to kind of figure out how you can feature the way that your body likes to move. Um, so for me, on that one, I get about two swim strokes in there if I want to do that. It works really nicely. But if that feels weird for you, the keeping your arms kind of slowly floating through space, that works great too. But I like to have everybody not doing a ton. If I'm moving, it's kind of in slow motion. So we're really featuring that weird foot thing we're doing. Uh, so, starting with the right foot going underneath, we do four triple steps. We go five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. Once more with feelings. Five, a six, a five, six, here we go. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. Cool. Um, so let's go into the next step because this is going to happen again. We're doing the exact same thing in two eight counts. So I want to give us a chance to repeat those a bit. Um, so we finished that last triple step, which was our left foot. Triple step, which means we ended on our left foot on uh, count eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. We're going to slap our knee on one. So after that last triple step, triple step, one. That's really weird. Normally we wouldn't do a clap sound on one. But the band is doing a thing on one and we're matching it. So I'm trying, I'm not trying to set a rhythm with that. I'm not going on the odd numbers. I'm just hitting an accent with that knee slap. So disclaimer. Uh, we got slap, step, kick. And that kick is more about dropping my butt down and just letting the line happen. It's less about going hey ya. So it goes one, two, three. And as I do that, I'm turning my hips. 45 degrees and sitting, and my foot that I'm standing on is turning 45 degrees as well. So I'm not moving away from my foot, so I end up accidentally turned out. I'm keeping my toes in front of my hips. So we have slap, step, bounce. Then we're gonna go that way and do a ball change. So our left foot steps down right about where it is, and my right foot steps over it on, on the ground. So it goes one, two, three, a five. So let's just try that much by itself. Starting with the knee slap, right leg, right hand. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, a five. Again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, a five. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, a five. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, a five. Cool. Uh, the last thing we have to do is take a step. So. One, two, three, four, a five, seven. So there's a little bit of a pause in there to give it kind of a after we do our crazy triples. Uh, checking on comments. Cool, looks good so far. Um, we went triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, slap, step, kick, ball change, step. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, slap, step, kick, ball change. So let's do that. So four triple steps. The knee slap, kick, ball change, step, and then four more triple steps. Uh, try not to travel, like I just traveled probably too far to the left because I got out of my narrow column of dance floor. If you have a big space, choose your own adventure. Um, but try not to travel too much when you do that direction. On our hoot, bada, ah, that can stay pretty stationary. So from the triple steps, right foot goes underneath. Five, six, five, six, seven, and triple step, triple step. Triple step, triple step, slap, step, kick, ball change, step, and triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, slap, step, kick, and then we get all weird. Cool. Um, that part's a little bit wonky. It's not necessarily like technically difficult other than like memorizing the stuff. Like there's not a lot of different things to memorize the order of. Um, but because the moves are kind of new and kind of weird, I want to run through it a couple more times before we plow into that last chorus. Um, so let's just go from your triple steps underneath you. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, slap, step, kick, ball change, step, and triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, slap, step, kick, ball change. Cool.
Cool. Um, one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven. Eight, one, two, three, a five, seven. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Ba -ba 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 -da. All right. Let's go into the next section. Um, I'm just going to plow straight ahead, so hopefully we have time to go through the whole thing before the end of our time. Uh, maybe even get it with music. Since we started late, I'm going to go a little late, too. If you need to jump, don't worry. We'll post this um, on the channel, as always, so you can get out later. Um, so the last bit, um, we're doing the same thing, but instead of going one, two, three, a five, seven, we're going one, two, three, just like before. We're going to pull ourselves together in a little tight pillar of awesome. So we have one, two, three, five. So I'm pulling myself in. And when I do that, I'm bringing my upper body to the left. And, and that means that before that, I'm bringing my upper body to the right and leave my hips here. So I'm a little bit wound up on that three. So I'm leaving my shoulders a little bit that way more than my body. I bring it all in. At the same time as I pull my leg in, and that's going to help me spin around. If you can't get all the way around, I choreograph in a get out of jail free card for you. You get two steps after this to go seven, eight, and finish your turn. So it's three, five, maybe you only get to here, seven, eight. So don't panic if you don't get all the way around this one. It's something to work toward. Maybe you're on carpet, maybe you're, you know, whatever. There are lots of excuses. Most of them can be solved with just, oh, I need to do seven million more tries. Um, so we've got. Slap, step, kick, our left leg's in the air. We're prepped for that turn. And go ahead and bring everything together. And do two steps. So you should end up on your right foot on eight. Uh, let's go from that whole thing. So we have triple steps, slap, step, kick, ball change, step. Triple steps, slap, step, kick, gather, run, run. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Five or six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, seven, eight. And again, if you have, if you're using those steps to get around on the turn, great. If you have the brain space, it would be a good time to center yourself in the room again. Maybe you've moved forward like I have and you need to come back so you have some room to move. But use those two steps, don't just throw them away and go, okay, I walk for two counts. Use them as navigational tools. It's gooder that way. Cool. Um, so let's do that one more time, and then we're going to get into the last phrase of our chorus. So starting with the triple steps, we go five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a five, a seven. One and two, three and four. Five or six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to get into some, like, just basic swing Charleston stuff. Uh, here is my disclaimer on this bit. If you want to do everything I'm about to do backward for this first little bit, that's also legit. I'm stealing directly from a classic, classic routine called Stops. We'll do a whole thing on the history of it and the actual versions of it that are out there and most popular on the channel at some point. But for now, we're just going to give you some of the vocab from stops, so the next time you learn one of those routines, you're like, ah, I've seen this before. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with that rock, step, kick, double, kick. So just try that a couple times. I'm sure most of you have seen this before, but it's rock, step with my left, or my right, if I'm on the other side, that's totally fine. Kick, step, and you would go two kicks and a step. Um, we're going to go and modify that just slightly, but it's important to know that step. So if you didn't know that before, take this video, go back, and learn that. We also have a video on the channel that just breaks down that move. Um, so go look for that too with me and Ariel. Um, we're going to go rock, step, kick, cross instead of rock, step, kick, step. It's a little bit more like we did before. Um, I bring that cross back this way, though. So I go not just on that diagonal. I'm actually bringing my foot around and coming back toward my my back right, um, or if you're doing the, the right side, the other corner, obviously. So let's try just that much. Five, six, seven, eight, rock, step, kick, cross. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
We're gonna do a rock, step, step. Rock, step, kick, cross. Rock, step, step. Clap, step, kick. So we have boom, ba, boom, ba, or boom, ba, boom, ba. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I'm going to switch sides because I've been teaching you the one that I don't know as well. So I feel free to keep going with that, or um, we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four. Let's take a rock step here. So rock, step, kick, step, rock, step, step. Um, and take that right shoulder forward if you're going with me. So let's go through that again because I just changed it on you. One, two, three, four. Rock, step, step. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, step. Rock, step, step, clap, step. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, step. Rock, step, step, clap, step. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Fall off the log. So we're gonna go kick behind, away from our audience, to the front. So we got turning the left foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, cross. Rock, step, step, clap, step. This is the kick. Behind, so I'm crossing behind myself, turning my body toward the back, continuing the turn, and facing the front. Five, six, Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, cross. Rock, step, step, clap, step. Kick behind, side, front. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, and rock, step, step, clap, step. Fall off the log. All right, once more, and then we're going to keep trucking. Five, six, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. On that five, we're going to make it a little more dramatic. We're going to go low and high. So five, seven. So that's just changing the last step of the fall off the log to a bit of a drop. So we went fall off the boom together. So let's put that in our move so far. We got five, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, and rock, step, step, clap, step. Fall off the open, closed. Uh, if you want to think ahead, get on your right foot on that closed. It's going to save you for the next bit. So I'm going open, closed. It looks like I'm on both feet, but my weight's actually a little bit to the right. Let's go through that again from the first rock step. Five, six. Five, six, seven, and rock, step, kick, step, rock, step, step, clap, step, fall off the open, close. And once the numbers, just for those that like that, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, seven. So that's half of our phrase. The second half starts with a kick step. This is a little weird, because normally as Lindy Hoppers, we start everything with a rock step, right? So we're going to step that way. We don't just go, Bing. we would go like, yeah, wind it up, do this thing. We even just did that a second ago. But in this case, we're actually just doing the kick step forward. Um, so to power that, we don't have that wind up step. I need to bring my center a little bit toward the front. So I'm turned sideways so you can see, but I'll be going toward my window here. Um, so we've gone open, close, kick, step, kick, step. So I actually want to think about Taking my center, like just above my belly button, maybe, straight forward in space. And that's gonna make me wanna go forward there. And all I do is delay the landing of my foot by giving a little kick to it. So let's go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Open, close, left foot, right foot. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, two. I did that the wrong counts. It starts on five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kick, step, kick, step. Let's go from the top of that whole phrase. So, our rock step kicks. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Rock step, kick, and rock step, step, clap, step. Fall off the open, close. Kick, step, kick, step. 
Now we're going to do another rock step, step, clap thing. So we did our left foot kick step. We did our right foot kick step. We're going to do a left foot rock step. Um, and that goes rock, step, step, clap, step, hold. You can snap here if you want to be fancy. Rock, step, step, clap, step, snap. If you can't snap, as many of my friends cannot, fake it. Someone else in the routine will be snapping and it'll be great. Uh, my friend Peter will actually snap with one hand because it's the only hand you can snap with. So if he's supposed to snap with his left, he goes push, 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 push. He'll put his right hand behind his back and make the sound of that. So whatever you got to do, you can go click with your mouth. I don't know. Make the shape. Musically playing anyway. Um, but we had rock, step, step, clap, step, snap. We're going to make one more step and then fall off the log again around this way. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All done with words, starting from the kicks forward. It goes five, six, seven, eight. Kick, step, kick, step. Rock, step, step. Clap, step, snap, step. Fall off the log. Again, because it's a lot of weird quibbly bits. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Kick, step, kick, step. Rock, step, step. Clap, step, snap, step. Fall off the log. So the trap, obviously, is that it's really similar to that first rhythm we did, but we added that snap in there just to be obnoxious. So make sure you're taking time being vertical here so you're not falling over into the, the fall off the log too soon, and give yourself time for that extra two beats for the snap. Uh, let's go through the whole section, starting with the rock step kick and rock step step uh, the whole the whole bit there. Five, six, five, six, seven, and rock step kick step rock step step clap step fall off the open close kick step kick step rock step step clap step snap step fall off the clock. That's a lot. Let's do it again. Five, six, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, five, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, kick, step, rock, step, step, rock, step, fall off the five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is it for our routine. So let's go through and piece it all together now. So going all the way back to the beginning, let's see what we remember. Uh, we started with that right foot hook behind. And it drops down the heel on one. And we go into this bit, right? The chizzy cues. So let's try that section. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five hook behind and one. Cool. Let's just do the left side. So don't even worry about the first part. Let's do the other side now. So the left foot hook behind is perfect that run through. Drop that down. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. And then we're going to do our triple steps. So the triple step section, just starting with that right foot hook underneath. And remember that our, our break for that goes slap, step, kick, ball change, step. Triple steps. Five, six, five, six, seven, and one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a five, do it again. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, slap, step, hold, turn, run, run. And then we're into our last phrase that we just learned. So that's our, 
our stops inspired section. It's not quite stops, but it stops inspired. We go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now, without the awkward pauses in between, I'm gonna check real quick and my little Facebook feed of spies in the chat for me. Looks good so far. So let's just dance that whole thing with counts. Remember, we're starting with this foot drifting around with a good pulse and being here by count seven. So we got five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. One, two, three, a five, seven. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm assuming that was absolutely perfect for only having had less than an hour to learn it. Um, but if you do have specific questions, uh, put them in the comments. I will check on those later, and hopefully my, my spies will let me know uh, if there are questions that come up, and I will see them in my, my message thread. Um, otherwise, let's try that with a slightly mellowed version of the original tune. I'm going to slow the tempo down just a bit for us since it's our first run through, and I like you all. So it's going to sound pretty slow if you know the song already, but we're going to give it a shot at this tempo here. <laughs> Wrong computer. I assumed I'd be on the other one because of the title. I always do. That's about five percent slower than that. Here's the thing about choreography that you've just memorized, though. Whatever tempo we play when it's new in your memorization will probably feel like light speed. So give yourself some grace. If you get a little bit off, remember that however your phrase starts, right? The first phrase has the hook behind with the right. Second phrase has the hook behind with the left. Third phrase is triple steps. And the last phrase is that Charleston rock step going into the stops bit. So if you get off on a phrase, cut that one out for this time and get ready to start us with us on the next one. All right. With music. Let's see if I can keep up. I didn't have enough coffee today. <laughs> Assuming that was perfect for you, I had a couple glitches in there. Uh, but let's try it one more time uh, on here. I'm going to encourage you to go back on your own later this week or even later today and try and get through it um, at whatever tempo you need to. So count it out, do one chorus at a time, and then slowly put the pieces together. As I've said many times on here, if you get it perfect by the end of the class, let me know. I'll up the ante next time for you a little bit because uh, this should be enough to work on all week, not just to work on for an hour. Here we go. <laughs>
creative run for me. Uh, hopefully yours went smoother instead of worse, but that happens sometimes. Um, if you do have questions, like I said, I'm sorry that the uh, chat has not been lining up for me, so I haven't been able to see your lovely texts coming through there. Um, but uh, do feel free to hit me up uh, elsewhere. On Instagram, I'm at Lindy Hopping. On Facebook, I'm facebook.com slash hep to the jive. Um, and uh, you can email me at ben at syncopationfoundation.org. Um, if you appreciate the music we just danced to, Jonathan Stout has a Bandcamp account, uh, and they give um, like really decent money to the musicians compared to other platforms. So go down and check out their music. He's got a bunch of albums up there from the last a lot of years. Um, he's been making music longer than I've been a Lindy Hopper, I believe. So there's a bunch of good stuff there. Um, also check out not just Jonathan Stout's Campus Five, which is that band, um, but check out uh, the Candy Jacket Jazz Band, which is his drummer's band. And also he has his own account, Jonathan Stout, where he does guitar instructional stuff for swing guitarists and things like that. So you get all sorts of things all over bandcamp.com there. Um, so check the doodly do. Uh, if you'd like to support us, if you like that I'm putting these things up for free every week, you can go to syncopationfoundation.org and there's a donate link in the top right. Click that and you can give as much as you want. It can be a recurring donation or a one-time donation. If you don't have the money for that, please don't feel pressured to do it. Like I know that this is a weird friggin' time. Um, I certainly understand not having your employment working like it normally does. So. Uh, feel free to enjoy this, even if it's just a little bit of an emotional boost to watch me stumble around and forget my own choreo. Whatever, whatever brightens your week a little bit this crazy year. Um, otherwise, uh, congrats on finally having election results, and uh, we'll see you all on a dance floor uh, near someone somewhere sometime, because that's how this year works. Bye, friends. Thanks for dancing with me. <laughs>